And welcome back. You know, an IGA grocery store out on the island was supposed to have been open by now, but that project out on Park Road 22 now at a standstill. A lot of folks are asking, what's the holdup and when will this project ever get going again? Well, we sent Chief Investigative Reporter Rick Spruill out to the island to get some answers. Several factors have delayed bringing a full service grocery store to the island, but based on what we found, the project is still moving ahead. City Councilman Greg Smith explains why island residents are clamoring for a grocery store near the beach. You take the summertime when the traffic's heavy on the beach or they have some kind of snarl, that uh, 15 minute ride to HEB suddenly can turn into a two hour nightmare. But there's a problem. The project to finally bring an IGA to the island has stalled. The site filled with weeds. Instead of workers, the sound of progress replaced with silence summer completion date clearly not going to happen. And since Smith represents the island on the council, he's been working behind the scenes to get answers. He met us at the site on Thursday with his findings. Turns out the IGA site is on a wetlands, has no sewer lines, and it's in a floodplain. In other words, this is an undeveloped piece of property, and that adds a lot of hurdles to any project. It is so complicated. You add the wetlands, you add the lack of sewer service. If this project was done north of here, where it was on uplands and it had sewer, they would have been shopping in the grocery store today. City Development Services Director Nina Nixon Mendez agrees. It is a complicated site to develop, but she says the developer is forging ahead. So the site itself um, also posed some challenges for the developer. And those challenges have been They've met. been overcome and they've been met, okay. yes sir. So on August 13th, the city council will decide whether to reimburse the developer about $900,000 to bring sewer to the site. Smith says if that happens, a building permit can be issued and a grocery store might soon appear. The sooner the better. Uh, I would expect sometime in early 2020, Rick. You think so? Yes, but it's been 50 years that the island's been waiting, so you know, if, if they see it coming out of the ground, that'll make a lot of people a lot happier. I spoke with the developer late Friday afternoon. He tells us if everything goes as planned, IGA will be open for business in the first quarter of 2020. Rick Spruill. Six investigates. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that. By the way, the name of that development is the Bayou Center, and it will also include other retail sites in addition to that IGA.